hi guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl for that day if you're new here hi welcome to my channel my name is Priscilla and i create all types of lifestyle content if you're interested in vlogs fun stuff definitely subscribe to the channel and stay tuned we're currently running our vlogmas challenge for 2023 and this year we're challenging ourselves to 25 days so 25 consecutive days of posting so hi welcome support me on this journey it's not going to be easy All right, so, so today as you guys are seeing from the title on the thumbnail we're going to be answering some questions about myself i know it's been a very long time since i did questions um i just went on pinterest honestly this morning and i just like checked for q and a's to do on youtube and just you know to give you guys an update on me answer some few questions just do a fun good vlog you know take a break from the vlogs because you guys have been seeing vlogs for like I think the first five days are vlogs just so that we can mix it up so have something else like watch you know you're not bored you're not stressed out all right so yeah um now we're going to go into the question so the first thing i want to do is obviously introduce myself hi there if you're new here or if you've been here for a very long time and you've not seen any of my q and a's before my name is busala and i am a content creator youtube creator mainly but i'm planning to go into like shorts and uh, short form content Put on youtube here like shorts and reels um very soon so stay tuned i was accepted oh my god into the youtube made for you program so i'm gonna leave the hashtag so that this video kind of counts um and yeah so the youtube made for you program it starts i think this week and i was accepted i'm so excited to get on this journey you know uh, like it's just something that is for creators to help them like learn how to use shorts and maximize shorts and grow using shorts so yeah stay tuned for all my shorts make sure you you are interacting because there are things to win there are challenges and i need you guys to support me now let's get right into what today is about so yeah like i said my name is Usola. i'm a content creator currently based in port -Apple. since everybody i know now keeps saying currently based as everybody is not stable me too i'm not stable currently based in port Harcourt city and yes that is me so yeah the first question here is what's my favorite color my favorite color is sky blue i always say sky blue i don't know why it's sky blue if you ask me for real um there was a time that i one of my best friends actually recently told me that my favorite color is yellow there was a time i was obsessed i was obsessed with using the color yellow so like if i'm sending somebody a heart emoji it's the yellow heart emoji like that was my thing it's like even if you look at my description of all my videos like it's yellow heart emojis that you're gonna see there i don't know maybe i like yellow a little bit but I always say sky blue so we're gonna go with sky blue all right uh, my favorite movie uh okay so of all time every time someone asks me what's your favorite movie i always say august rush if you have not watched august rush oh my days why first of all why why that was how good august rush was i recently still watch it this year with deborah and that movie is amazing i am such a music early and it's a music movie i have literally downloaded the theme like the um, ost of the movie um and they are in my playlist so yo <laughs> i just hope one of them actually comes up in my top 20 stay tuned because i'm going to be filming my spotify wraps today as well i'm filming like three videos today so stay tuned for my spotify wraps and my playlist as well um my height i am five foot seven i think i've not measured my height recently i should i actually should do i have any pets oh my god you guys know Ah, oh, this is such a sad topic for me. I used to, at one point, have up to nine dogs. <laughs> that is insane. Like, when I tell people, if not more, when I tell people, eh, I think we had more than that nine at one point, even. Like, but the ones that we named, right? I'm going to give you according to how we got them. So we have Skipper, may so rest in peace. He was born in 2016. He passed last year, 2022 around december i think um this month so yeah that's a really sad one uh so he was seven no six years six years old when he passed um <laughs> so i don't cry ah then we have akira akira was also born in 2016 and she passed earlier this year so that's about almost seven years i think she was around around seven years when she passed she was really sick and i took care of her oh my gosh i'm getting emotional i'm not i'm really about to cry <laughs> oh it's just so sentimental it's, it's such it was such a very tough period i lost a lot of people things pets around that time <sighs> and so yeah that's why it's very very <laughs> okay so yeah um and after akira 
after Akira, we had Daisy. I'm sorry. Huh? Oh, I will like forget my baby. <laughs> after Akira, we have Zoe. Zoe came in 2017, so she's 2017. And so she is currently six years. Um, because she is still here. Yeah, she's the only one I have right now. So out of all my dogs, I have just one, and that's my Zozo. And after Zoe, Akira gave birth to a couple of dogs. We have Daisy, we had Daisy and Denver. At a point, we gave out Daisy because she was just too destructive. Like we just gave her away. I don't know who my dad gave her away to. I just came back one day and they were like, Yeah, th this is gone. <laughs> like she used to destroy everything. Like if you forget anything outside, just so sorry, you're not gonna see you no more. So that was Daisy, and then we had Denver. Denver was here until last year, I think. Yeah, I think we gave her away last year. But Daisy, Daisy, uh, Daisy we gave Daisy away like maybe two years ago or so. Um, Denver was here till last year before we gave her away because she was also destructive. She used to eat anything. She wouldn't eat food. She'd be eating trash. And yeah, so she was skinny. You feel that she would be adding weight. My dad, my dad, he said seen like my dad hates seeing when he's putting money into something he's not going to get. Um, so yeah. And then we had um, Akira also had Cherry with some other dogs. So we had Oscar. Oscar didn't last. Um, I think it didn't last. <laughs> Oscar passed very, very. Ah, uh, I just remember something that's gonna make me cry again. Oscar was named by my sister, so <laughs> that was that's quite something. Um, but yeah, Oscar didn't. He didn't survive a long time. A couple of months, maybe two, three months. And then after that, there was Cherry. So Cherry was here for a very long time as well. Cherry was a mix with a Rottweiler. So I wasn't telling you their breeds. Oh my God. Skipper was a Caucasian Shepherd. I'm sorry. Yeah, Caucasian Shepherd. Akira was an Alsatian or German Shepherd. Um, Zoe, Caucasian Shepherd. Daisy, Denver, full breed German Shepherd. Um, then Oscar. Oscar was... Who was oscar i think oscar was the same set as cherry yeah so oscar was a mix with rottweiler and a german shepherd same with cherry and so yeah so we had some other little puppies they were not nice to call mama that one most of them passed we gave some out away because they were mostly female my dad had a lot of female dogs already he didn't want more female dogs he wanted males so we could mate between ourselves rather than having to look for who to mate with and then having to pay sometimes and all of that so yeah, those are my dogs, those are my pets. That took a very long time to answer. Um, so next one we have my favorite TV show. Side eye. Um, my favorite TV show. Oh my god, two bro girls. Ah, but then we have mentalist, and then we have castle. Okay, no, we can move castle. But you see the mentalist and two bro girls, those are my all-time favorite. Where am I from? I am from Ogun State, Nigeria. What local government? Adodo Ota. So yes, my favorite season um in nigeria we don't really have seasons apart from like rainy season rainy season rainy season rainy season hamatan mixed with rainy season hamasan dry season we don't really have a summer our summer is rainy season do we have a period where it's like really hot no it's always raining it's like because i stay in river state it's called river state rivers of living water <laughs> like it's always raining so rain, like i said rainy season rainy season rainy season sprinkle of dry season during like this december time now it's still raining we're in december and it's still raining we're supposed to be in hamatan season yet the sun is shining i should have watched this morning you know i watched yesterday Sha. so yeah it's like rainy season that's all we have so i don't really have a choice but i like it when it doesn't rain because i my shoes don't spoil as as much you guess so yeah my zodiac sign, I'm a Sagittarius. My birthday was, what's today's day? Today's the third. My birthday was four days ago. So I'm a Sag. Uh, relationship status. I am um, unmarried. So yeah. Are you or were you a good student? Oh, was I a good student? I think I did good. When I was in primary school, I used to fail. Hey. Okay, I wouldn't say fail. Fail is a strong word, but I used to take like you won't see me in top five. Sometimes you see me in the top ten. Sometimes you won't see me in the top ten. Like I used to get like eleven, thirteen. I don't know how many you were in my class, maybe like thirty something, but like yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think I used to do really good in primary school. I don't know. Um, but then I entered secondary school. What did I, in my junior secondary did I used to like I used to pass? I think I was good. I was average, like 
yeah but then when i now entered into like senior secondary when they split us like we moved the science students those ones that just they're just too much they took when they separated us that were at class catch me on the second position there was one person ruta daily that girl has brain after her brain is my brain <laughs> so it was always me it was always her then me then um i think a berichi and then sometimes a berichi would like like check me like she would take my second position then i'll take it back the next semester so yeah um and that was just for like two semesters because then um third term sorry i think semester hey first term second term third term so like first term second term that was ss1 ss2 the ss3 obviously were doing mock and work so they didn't really have positions per se and then in my work um based on my work would i say i was a good student yeah i didn't have any a's so i would say i wasn't i was not like the best student i think i had more b's and c's then i had a and e so like i had b's and c's and then there was an e and what was that e in bookkeeping i'm an accountant <laughs> and i got an e in fucking bookkeeping yo that's embarrassing but yeah did i graduate from university yes i did so period and that's a period <laughs> Then also, let's like say, okay, based on university, so I was, I don't know why, when they said, I graduated good set, I went to primary school. But university, I graduated with a 2-1. Um, it wasn't like a high 2-1. So they know that there's low 2-1. And then there's a 2-1 before 4.0. Then there's 2-1 between 4.0 and 4.5. I was below 4.0. So I was an average student, really. I really just, I didn't used to read. I'm going on, completely honest. I won't read if it's not exam What am I reading if I don't have a test coming up? Like, there's a video, oh my god, I hope I still save it on my TikTok. I'll put it here. The person is like, every time I procrastinate and I, like, if I have an exam in two weeks and I read the day before the exam, I'm still fun, I'm still gonna pass. Do you understand? I am still gonna pass. So why should I be reading for two weeks when I can read in one day and still pass? Tell us why we are surprised. Why should I stress my brain every night? That boring book, be reading it for two weeks. I can read it two days, one day before, and I will pass. Even if the passing is a 50C. I, did I pass or I did not pass? I passed, so keep quiet. My dream vacation. Oh, oh. I have like a lot of places I want to go to. I want to go to um, Bora Bora. I want to go to, oh, well, I want to say a dream place, Venice, Italy. I also want to go to Mauritius. It looks so nice. Like there's a list of there's a, I have a notion board of places I want to visit. And Alhamdulillah, next year I'm gonna start going to places. Even if it's to go to Togo, like Burkina Faso, <laughs> I must go somewhere next year. And I'm gonna drag my friends with me. The last person I texted, um, probably Ife. We've been chatting all morning, like about um content and like filming uh, my most used emoji probably the laughing emoji <laughs> probably the laughing emoji and the heart emoji every time i test if i must use like 100 laughing emojis like <laughs> so it's probably my laughing emoji or my red heart emoji because my birthday just passed my biggest fear i think my, my biggest fear has already come to pass so like am i really still scared of anything i am now scared more of that thing i'm not gonna speak it into existence uh, my favorite book i haven't read a lot this year Ooh, I read a book called Almost Adulting. I forgot who I so an Arden something. I don't know. I really liked that book. There were a lot of cool like things I reposted. A tattoo I want. I want to get a memorial tattoo somewhere on my what I'm here. Um I don't know when, probably next year. An embarrassing memory. Embarrassing things don't happen to me. <laughs> What, like, what can I think of none? Oh, oh, shit. Ah, fuck shit. Ah. University, 400 level. I started being more outgoing. So there was this day, I, okay, no, normally I go to the stadium, right? My friends were ballers. My best friend at the time was a baller. So I was always at the stadium when he had a game. So I was supporting my classmates, obviously. And I'll go to the stadium to watch their games or if there's like tournaments, like, uh, Busa, Busa League or like departmental leagues, yeah, interdepartmental leagues and all of that. So there was this particular day, I was at the stadium and they were, I don't know who was playing, but like I was just, you know, when your body just knew busy body, busy body, busy body, like just 
walk around let people see you i don't know why i just felt like being all around over the place and so i kept climbing up and now if you know Bangkok, you know those um i don't know if you know stadiums like you know there are like platforms where people sit down you can arrange chairs or you can just sit down on like the slabs and everything so it's like a high jump to like climb each one and then obviously in my school we could only wear skirts so i after i've gone up and gone down busybody waka 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 for some time one of the times i was trying to go up after my busybody waka 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 and i tripped and fell and there were a lot of guys and i wanted to die and there was somebody i had a crush on there i wanted to die that is so embarrassing to think of right now oh my gosh that ah why do you ah that's so embarrassing i'm so sorry but it's so embarrassing my shoe size i wear a size 40 41 i think yeah yeah hobbies i skipped that my hobbies um what are hobbies every time i get, I get asked this question i always get confused like what exactly is a hobby why do i have a feeling i'm not recording <laughs> lord of jesus i was about to scream i would just go and sleep <laughs> hey um what are hobbies i always people say your hobbies i just think of things i like to do but then I always think like, do you mean things like, do I, will I say sewing? Like, you know, I sew, so like, is that a hobby? Is that classified as a hobby? I think it is. But then it's, it has passed being a hobby. I feel like a hobby is just something you do for fun and it's just like exciting. But like, I do it now like as a side hustle. So is it a hobby? I don't know, but I sew, I do video editing. So these things are things I do. So I don't know if they are still hobbies. I like listening to music. I like singing, I like dancing, even though I don't know how to dance so well. I need to actually practice because when my friends start getting married, I can't be dancing this rubbish at their wedding. Like, I get embarrassed sometimes when I dance. My best traits. I'm a very loving person. I care a lot. I care a lot. I care too much. So that's like the next question is my worst traits. I would say the caring is my best and my worst. Like, I care a lot. I care a lot for people. But at the same time, it's also detrimental to me as a person like i do more for people than they do for me and then i get upset um and then i will say okay another trait of mine that's like really bad is the fact that i expect that because i do something for you you should do it for me like do you get that kind of thing like people don't really care some people just take it that oh you did it for me all right and then you you're expecting them to do the same thing for you and they don't and then you get upset so that's me that's me a lot um another thing i would say is my worst trait is how i fall for people I wouldn't say I fall for people. I and it's this thing where it's like I don't know if I actually like you or I like the idea of you. I get bored and I, I like people. See, <laughs> like I'm actually quite. I'm, you can see how serious I am talking about it. I, 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 I literally sat down in my room one day and I was telling my friends I was like, I'm bored. I need to find somebody to like have a crush on. Like my life is too. Why am I just waking up and going to work? I need some spice, even if it's to argue. Like like once it starts getting to oh, so let's start dating. I'm like. Peace. that's the end of it like what do you mean we should date i'm only here for the fun the thing is the thing is my mentality is this and it's not probably the right mentality and i say it a lot and i'm pretty sure i've manifested it at this point and that's why i'm unable to like connect with somebody so deeply i don't want to know anything about you when i'm ready when i feel like i'm ready to get married i'll just sit my father down and be like how far i'm not ready to marry you i've saved up some money i've gotten to a good place in my career uh look inwards in your friend groups in your families like ex not, sorry not families like family friends you know friend groups church members look for a guy that is good enough that is, i would just give him my criteria he should be good looking i can't be waking up to an ogre every morning he should have money he should make at least what i'm earning or times maybe like 50 percent higher or like times two of what i'm earning like he should have a car have a place he's staying you know godly blah 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 go and find the person when you're ready bring him to me we'll do marriage counseling we'll marry when we marry we get to know each other i can't i can't i don't know i can't see myself self really attaching to somebody just like that because i feel like the times i did you just end up getting stupid like it gets hurt so i just feel like okay so why are we so against arranged marriages now that was what they did in the past most of your grandparents were arranged marriages and they, those people I wouldn't say they loved each other, but like you learned, you grow to learn to like see, okay, now for example, me, there might be a guy that's toasting me, right? I don't like when I first see you, I don't like you physically, right? Or like you, and that may not like you physically, it's not, does not mean that, oh, there's anything wrong with you. Like 
you're just at the first look you're not somebody that makes my jaw drop i like to go for the jaw drop god jaw drop jaw, jaw drop guys because i know it's really hard to find anything serious with those ones because they are mostly players so now i see you and you're not physically like the person that i look and i'm like double take right i won't give face to you initially but if you keep chatting to me while well, light i lie i will f I, will, I don't want to use the word for but like i will get attached to you just because we speak a lot we talk every time maybe we talk in the morning talk in the night we're chatting throughout the day we didn't give me three days three to five working days so that is gone do you understand so if i can do that to a random person who i don't even find physically attractive in the first place and i and so why can't i give my father my dad a criteria for what i want and he finds the person and then i marry the person and then from there we get to each other the muslims do it muslims don't date typical muslims are not supposed to date the guy is not supposed to approach the girl until he has spoken to her father and when the father gives the go ahead they cut for a short period of time and then they have their nikah and do their wedding so why is it different for us christians why must we be different i don't want to stress myself my daddy will find their husband for me period uh, my favorite food um i really like fried rice fried rice i see people who say their favorite food is fried um, jello fries are just basic people jello fries is good don't get me wrong i just want mad jello fries yesterday at bura's wedding fuck i need to find out the person that cooked that food maybe i'm gonna be buying two liters size and put in my freezer because that food was it was so good but see when jello fries sorry when fried rice is cooked to this to its highest level of cooking when a proper chef makes fried rice Jollof fries is a stinking bastard. Yes, I said it. Ah, uh, jollof fries, Nibu. Forget it all. My dream job, uh, my dream job is to just travel and create travel content. I just wanna like just just like Alma Sinobi. Gosh, I can lose my dream life. I just wanna travel. I just want to go to places. I just want to like create content and just be happy and chill. I know it's not it's not as fun as it looks. Because it takes a lot of like dedication to not just laze around, but like you have to stand up, go out, create that content because you need to get paid. You know, it seems it's like it seems simple, but it's not. Crazy content is not it's not so simple. It's not just setting up your camera to film. You have to edit, you have to do a lot of things, like you have to make sure that it's top tier quality to get like the like the the outcome you want. You get that kind of thing. And so like I just want to not have to do a nine to five. If you know how, like in one of my previous videos, I think my second vlog, yeah, my second day, um, vlogmas episode, I was like, why do we have to work nine to fives? It's so exhausting, yo. It, it just feels like slave trade, modernized slave trade, because why am I here more than I spend? Like, I spend more time at work with strangers than I spend at home with my family members. It's just really sad. That has brought us to. The end of this particular video that was i don't know i don't know how long that took maybe like 30 minutes or less um but yeah those are just a few questions to get to know me i've just started you guys i've gotten my energy up <laughs> but yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video don't forget to like comment subscribe leave what do i normally say share this with your friends and family and i'll see you guys in my next video please watch my vlogmas content please i beg you guys